Hello, everybody. I decided to report from New York City tonight. Ah, just kidding. Like the little background. Isn't that cool? Look at all the taxi cabs. Wow. Little fun borders, you know. I wanted to talk tonight about bullies. I have addressed this issue before, but I've noticed just in the last week, there was an Ohio father, I believe in Canton, Ohio, who was coming out in the front yard or outside at a school bus and making a sport out of a handicapped girl and encouraging his eight-year-old son, eight-year-old son to do that as well. Pretty sad. Um, one of the things that really bothers me in all of this is that it took somebody having to videotape this to bring attention to it because when it was brought to the attention of the police, the police said, you'll have to videotape this so we can have proof. So somebody did. The other story was a reporter setting up camera equipment by a high school or junior high school. And then in the background, he was coming to discuss bullying. And lo and behold, some teenagers jump another student and start bullying him. I notice every day when I drive in Metro Denver, Colorado, or in pretty much any city in America, I see bullying going on on the roads, the big vehicles roaring up and tailgating other people, the businessmen, the yuppies in their SUV, whatever, the arrogant jerks that want to push everybody out of their way. Bullying exists on all levels, from playground garbage in, in kindergarten, up through elementary school, middle school, high school, and even into adult years. Bullying goes on male to female, female to male, female to female. It goes on in traffic. It goes on in a store. It goes on all over the place. And rather than get into all the different scenarios, I want to address a few things. <clears throat> One of those things would be this. Why is it that people bully? I have a few thoughts on the matter. And one of them is simply this. Because bullies are insecure. They make themselves feel better by putting down or causing harm or destruction to somebody else. I've seen this go on in chat rooms. I have witnessed grown men and women in chat rooms attack nice people. They come in just to chat. Some of them claim to be Christian people, and they were just horrible, making fun of, mocking, putting down. And a simple reading of the Bible, for those that believe in it, would say, hmm, I don't think that we're supposed to behave that way. But bullying exists on all kinds of levels. I've watched people over the years use their size to bully somebody out of their way. I've seen people get on cycles and blast down sidewalks, almost hitting people, irregardless of children or women or people who have a right to the sidewalk. I see, and I had dealt with this yesterday in a video dealing with SUVs, that it seems that in America, the bigger vehicle you have, the mentality is, get out of my way, twerp. We see that every day. A couple reasons bullying is on the rise and aggression is on the rise in the United States is because people in America seem to have a blood lust for violence. They love watching violent movies. And our Senate and our president, even Barack Obama, does nothing about this. They scream for gun control. We don't deal with Hollywood that shows people shooting people, blood coming from their faces. You go back to the old westerns and the spaghetti westerns, they didn't even show that stuff. Why? It's very interesting. They didn't want to see that gore and stuff. The Lone Ranger, there's a difference between the sound of a gun going bang and somebody falling off their horse and a packet of ketchup on the side. Today, it's horrible. From basketball diaries to stuff George Clooney's been in and all kinds of garbage out there, and I could go on and on and on. Americans love their violence. They, it's just bad. From watching American males at t-ball events with their little children and football and all the different sports and choking the ref and punching other fathers and making fun of somebody else's kids. Why do people do this? Because there's something wrong with them. We're supposed to be the greatest country in the world, and this is the example we set. 
complete and utter disregard for other people, their rights. Bullying is wrong, whether it goes on in a classroom, a chat room, the office place, or on the roads, which can cause death or serious damage to other people. People that bully not only need counseling, but some of them need to be locked up and put away. And what's sad is that this thing is on the rise. In my training at a local school district for school bus driving, it was reported to me this week that bullying is on the rise in America, even against the backdrop that there is a no-tolerance policy in place at most campuses around the U.S. for no bullying and harassment. Yet it's on the rise. When I asked the instructor why this was so, it was reported to me very simply. Movies, music, rap music. Folks, have you ever heard that stuff? Listen to the profanity. Listen to the hate. And listen to the violence. People love this stuff. We look at teens today with the sullen, sour, very harsh looks on their faces. And then you pull out their iPod and listen to what they're listening to. They're pumping that garbage into their brain. And then they go home and watch garbage on TV. We are a nation that is imploding on itself. New York City, the video backdrop of which you're looking at, has some huge crime statistics. It's interesting, when I was in Hong Kong, <clears throat> now I'm not saying bullying doesn't, doesn't exist there, but I see more bullying in the U.S. than I ever did see in Hong Kong. You can walk around at 2 o'clock in the morning, and if you keep your nose clean, nobody's going to mug you, nobody's going to beat you, and nobody's going to shoot you. Imagine that. America's supposed to be the greatest nation on earth. But we cannot claim crime-free cities in our country by no means. Rather than go on and on about bullying, I've got a message for the bullies. You need to get some counseling. Whatever you went through in life, you need to face it and deal with it. You may have your own pain. Why don't you just admit it? Quit victimizing somebody else. If you're that insecure, go get some counseling. Do something productive with your life instead of destroying somebody else's else's psyche that they have to live with for life. I have been a victim of bullying most of my life. The thick glasses, my small build, my red hair. I was throttled daily on the way home from school, and the teachers didn't do a thing. That's right. I went to schools in California, and a lot of teachers didn't do a thing. I remember watching a playground fight break out, and the teacher stood there and did absolutely nothing when it was elementary school students. One of the kids picked up a rock, threw it at the cuff of the pant leg of the teacher to get his attention because he was getting pummeled. The teacher then got his attention, all right, went over and grabbed the kid that threw the rock and punished him and did nothing to the kids that were dogpiling all over him, who the kid who was getting beat on had done nothing to provoke this. <clears throat> Bowling needs to be shut down at all levels, whether it's on a school bus, whether it's on a campus, whether it's in the workplace and in traffic. And police need to recognize that this aggression on the roads is getting worse, and it's going to result in more carnage. From the people in their SUVs thinking that I might is right, get out of my way, these people need some serious help. For those of you parents setting the examples, you're passing the baton of violence, harassment, and completely uncalled for behavior that your children will not only pick up, but they will multiply it by the power of 100. And who knows, they could come after you someday. So just something to think about. This is Pacific signing off. Bye-bye.